with Mario Lopez. What's up, y'all? Mario Lopez joining me now on Zoom from the new Save by the Bell on Peacock. My man, Belmont Camelli. Welcome to the show, brother. How are you? I'm good, man. What's up, Colonel Sanders? How you doing? Hey, you like that? You hey, listen. My stash is nowhere near as cool as that little '70s porn stash you're rocking right now. Bro, I don't know how you how you pulled off keeping that under wraps. I had no idea that you were doing that, and then it just came out of nowhere. I know. Well, you know, it's it's because of the secret recipe. I can't be. Everything's a secret. Right, right. The, the herbs and spices. The herbs and spices. I tell you, player. They were gonna call it Fifty Shades of Gravy, but uh, <laughs> with the recipe for seduction. There's a lot, a lot going on, uh, Belmont. Yeah, that uh, we always. need to catch up on. But uh, I want everyone to get to know you. You're from Illinois originally, right? Chicago or outside? I'm uh, just outside Chicago. I'm from a suburb called Naperville, where I grew up. Most of my, uh, I got a lot of family in the city. And I spent a year there. My brother's there now. But uh, nice. yeah, just outside Chicago. Nice. And I know you wrestled for a little and even did a little jujitsu. Did you play ball and stuff too? You're an athlete? Yeah, that's right. Uh, in high school, I did three sports every year. I did football, wrestling, and volleyball. I did volleyball because I got to have fun the first two were so grueling. Um, but wrestling was my favorite sport. Yeah. Um, I wrestled at 52 uh, all four years. Uh, Dang, you maintained that same weight class all four years? Ooh. Yeah, it was it was tough. Yeah, especially junior, senior year. I was I was not eating a lot. But no, uh, you're tall for that weight class, too. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. It was good to be long. A lot of leverage, though. Yeah, yeah. Good for you, man. And is Belmont uh, a family name or any significance? Yeah, that's right. Uh, was my uh, great-grandfather was Belmondo, and so when he came over from Italy, he Americanized and he was Belmont Camelli. And, uh, yeah, my parents were nice enough to pass it down to him. Dude, I would have liked Belmondo. It's Bel- <laughs> You're Belmondo from now on. I'm calling you Belmondo. Go That's crazy. Awesome. Yeah, it's a it's a hell of a name. But do you have a middle name? My middle name is actually Belmont. My full name is Philip Belmont Camelli. Um, oh, your yeah, middle name is Belmont. actually Belmont. Yeah, oh, that's, that's a right. Fuck- yeah. So what's your first name again? Philip, yeah. Philip. Don't yeah. you work with this guy? <laughs> no, but I never knew that. Yeah, I never your first name. I didn't know. That's true. <laughs> exactly. Um, well, that's funny because my wife, who happens to be Italian, her father's first name is Philip. Oh, yeah? <laughs> so I guess it's popular in, uh, in Italian yeah, right. uh, culture there. So, Belmondo, you're playing uh, Jamie Spano, who is Jesse's yeah. son. Um, be honest, did you ever watch the original prior to getting cast? No, no, I didn't. I, um, I watched it during the audition process, but I didn't grow up on it. Um, I was a little more Boy Meets World, like Nickelodeon, Drake and Josh kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, when I got the audition, I went back and hit all the highlights watching you dance around and everything. You watch, and were you like, what the hell am I getting into? What is this? <laughs> yeah, well, after after reading the pilot, like, you know, you could, you could already kind of tell that it was going to be a brand new kind of show. Yeah. Um, and that's like the one thing that I'm so proud of being a part of is that Tracy, like, wasn't afraid to kind of like poke fun at the original corniness of the show. Right. Um, but still maintain like all of those wonderful qualities um, that the original fans would love to see all those good Easter eggs and stuff. Yeah, because it was Saturday morning, you know, it, was, it, was, yeah. it wasn't even teens it was supposed to appeal to. It was like little, little kids who were trying to, um, we were competing with Bugs Bunny. So we had to try to, <laughs> yeah. you know, get, get that uh, uh, eyes and attention away from there. Um, fortunately, it's been met with a lot of great response and love, yeah. both critically and, uh, uh, and by fans alike. Uh, what, what kind of um, um, feedback have you been getting? Um, it's been resoundingly good. Um, you know, my family's pretty thrilled about it. Um, and the show, you know, I think it, I think it served its purpose. Um, it did a really good job of um, balancing the comedy and addressing those relevant issues. Um, and yeah, I think it's being really well received. And I just, I feel very lucky to be a part of it, honestly. Um, it's, it was such a cool experience filming all year. Um, and then to see it, you know, because like you kind of just you do your scenes, you give your part, and then to see it all come together was like a really beautiful thing. And it's also hilarious. Like it, it was very funny to watch. Yeah. No, you did a great job, man. You really did a great, great job oh, on thanks, the show. Man, you too. Thank you, brother. And all, all you guys were really, really solid. And um, how how uh, how was it first day on set? I mean, was it pretty nerve wracking? Oh man, nice? it was a trip because I I had never expected to be at do you know doing this kind of thing at this point in my life so even just you know getting my key card to get on the universal lot was a big thing for me and then like driving around and seeing all those sets and then walking onto the stages was um just absolutely surreal i got to meet everybody at the uh the second table read i believe because i was casted a little bit later um so i came in everyone had kind of already met and i was greeted by a, a bunch of smiling faces and all these new people i was looking around and obviously 
just people that I recognize from, you know, watching them on TV and, and things. Um, and then when we, after we wrapped or after we finished that table read, us and the new cast walked around and just went through all the sets. And it was insane, the scope of, of the sets and the stages. And just to think about how much time went into all of that before I even showed up. Um, and then to work um, on the Bayside sets was, it was so surreal. It was, it was pretty crazy. It was very cool for me when my mom came to like drive her around in the golf cart and yeah. have her watch my scenes and stuff. She got to meet you. She was very excited. It was cool. Oh, she was very <laughs> sweet. I remember she was very, yeah. very sweet. And uh, I like to keep up with the younger generation here. So oh, you're, right? <laughs> you're, you're, you're single, right? You're single? That's right. Yes, Mario, I'm single. Okay, good. I got to live vicariously through you. So what's it been like dating during this pandemic? Can you be swiping left and right or which way do you swipe when you want them? You swipe, right, you swipe right? It, it depends, I guess. Yeah, I think the swipe right is good. I, I, I did a little bit of the dating apps because I got pretty bored during quarantine. Yeah. Um, but I, if, frankly, it's been pretty scarce. You know, I, when I moved out to LA, I didn't- You got to whiten the strike zone, player. When it's scarce, you <laughs> whiten the strike zone. <laughs> right. No one's going to see you anyway. <laughs> well, when I moved to LA, like I didn't really even know anybody. And I moved into this rinky dinky, uh, two car garage converted guest house, which is like a very generous way of describing it. So I was essentially quarantined before COVID even Eddie, happened. You were ahead anybody. of the game. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, then, uh, and then I started shooting the show and I was doing that and then COVID happened. So yeah, dating has been a little rough, not gonna lie. But, I uh, bet. 2021, I... you know, we'll see what happens. Oh, you can come out strong. Come out strong <laughs> right there. Um, what about Christmas? You uh, you hanging out back in? Uh, in yeah, April? yeah. I was I was gonna come back to LA, but you know things aren't going so hot over there. So I'm sticking out the month here, back with the family. We'll do a nice little nuclear Christmas like we always do. Um, same kind of deal. Yeah, it'll be good, and I'll come back uh, ready for the new year. Good for you, my man. All right. Well, listen. Before I let you go, I'm gonna put you on the spot real quick with uh, some quick okay. questions, quick answers. Okay. All right. All right. Favorite Christmas movie. Um, plane trains on automobiles. That would be more of a Thanksgiving movie, but I yeah. appreciate that. That is, the, uh, we've discussed the top Thanksgiving movie, but I do appreciate that answer. All right. Song you know all the words to. Um, Anthony's song, Moving Out, Billy Joel. Okay. okay. Celebrity yeah, crush. There's a few. There's a few. Yeah. Okay. Celebrity crush growing up. Um, Scar Joe. Colin Joe's locked that down now, but Scarlett Johansson for sure. <laughs> <laughs> all-time favorite football player um sweetness it's got to be um, Walter Payton Walter Payton there you yeah. go best Christmas gift you ever received um a drum set I was begging for a drum set for years um because I played piano growing up um but oh, nice. they didn't want all the noise in the house and then uh one day my dad walked me out to the garage and it was under a, a, a sheet and I was like finally I get to bang on something yeah Good to know you play piano, though. We're going to have to incorporate that into this next season. Yeah, that's right. I'm learning so much. Well, Belmondo, thanks so much, brother, for the new nickname. Again, you uh, did an excellent job on the show. And if you haven't Thank checked you. it out yet, be sure to watch Saved by the Bell streaming now on Peacock. Thanks for checking in, pal. Hopefully we'll see you Always, soon. Always, man. All right, take care. On with Mario Lopez.